While it's been difficult to substantiate cometary impacts on Earth, physical proof of their colossal power exists on the gas giant planets. And these dramatic events warn that far worse collisions loom in the future, with Earth as the potential bullseye. As we've followed the trail of comets through space, we've passed through the chilliest and warmest places in our solar system. We've also investigated whether these icy bodies have been deliverers and destroyers of life. And new observations prove many of these ancient bodies haven't quietly retired to the frigid outer limits of our solar system. We think there are several possible end states for comets. In one case, they can actually get pulled right into the sun. In other cases, they can actually get scattered by one of the planets and kind of get kicked out, maybe back into the Oort cloud and never seen again. And finally, they can also actually impact a planet. We now shuttle back to July 1994. We follow a string of 21 comet fragments called Shoemaker-Levy 9 as they're gravitationally pulled toward the gas giant, planet Jupiter. If we were riding on one of the fragments of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9, it would have been truly spectacular because we're heading toward Jupiter and this giant planet is looming ever bigger and then splat, we crash into it and we throw up a whole bunch of material from the insides. It would be really an amazing journey. And the plumes of material coming out of Jupiter were superheated gas heated by this collision and also excavated from the interior of Jupiter. Shoemaker-Levy 9 left impact scars the size of Earth, driving home the scale of violence that comets can produce if they slam into our planet. If any of those fragments had hit the Earth rather than Jupiter, we would have been in serious trouble because they're large and they were coming in extremely rapidly. But fortunately, big brother Jupiter took all the hits for us and didn't seem to suffer much in the way of damage. But even with Jupiter acting as a planetary shield, comets still sneak by the gas giants and have close encounters with Earth. The good news is asteroid impacts are far more likely to occur because asteroids outnumber comets 100 to 1 in near Earth space. The bad news is if we do find a comet on an Earth impacting trajectory, we wouldn't realize it till it got inside the orbit of Jupiter when it started throwing off gas and dust. In the very unlikely event that a comet could get close to the Earth, you would worry about it because they tend to have high average velocities relative to an asteroid, as high as tens of miles a second. So in other words, they would pack a bigger punch. While the frequency of near-Earth asteroids heightens the risk of impacts, the speed of comets is equally troubling. This sobering fact has prompted viewer Robin W. from Boulder, Colorado to ask the universe, what poses a greater hazard to humans, asteroids or comets? Robin, that's an important question. The asteroids are more numerous, so there's more of them that could hit us, but we can track their trajectories and maybe do something about one that's gonna hit us, deflect it, for example. The comets are more rare, but we have very little warning when they come in. And also, they move much faster than asteroids, so there is more energy impacting Earth. So I would say comets are the most hazardous objects.